Hello, and welcome back to the final episode of Co-op uh, ever. Until next week. I'm joined once again by... Fetty Wap. Ah, Fetty Wap. Not to be confused with Wap Wap. That's true, yeah. I saw someone say on Twitter that uh, with the amount of time that conservative, conservative media has spent making fun or like uh, demonizing Wap, they've probably listened to it more than most normal Cardi B fans. You ever think that's, about that's, that? In, that's in, I have not thought about that. That's really interesting. Like, I doubt they're actually listening to the song, though. They're probably just looking up the lyrics on Genius and like dissecting it that way. I don't know. I it's it is possible, but I also do like to believe that like Ben Shapiro has listened to WAP more than I have. Well, how many times have you listened to it? Uh, like half. Half. Okay. I listened to uh, a what I thought was the real version, but was a, a a more PG version of it when I first listened to it, and I was like, <laughs> "What's what's going on with this song?" Like, they're talking about <laughs> wet and gushy, I guess. But like, oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like a little confused, like what like the big deal about the song was, and then I found out that that was apparently not the real version. Yeah, that doesn't seem correct. I gotta yeah. tell you, I, I don't know. Uh, I think it'd be more entertaining to hear Ben Shapiro say "wet and gushy" than uh, "wet ass." Wet ass word. word. Yeah, maybe. Well, um, yeah. How do you, how do you feel about Fetty Wap though? I have not heard anything with Fetty Wap on it. I, I think, think he had like a big one hit wonder like eight years ago or something. Yeah, I know his name. The only, yeah, the only reason why I remember him is because one time I was playing D&D &D and we were doing a Halloween themed episode and I was playing someone who had a pet frog mm -hmm. and I named the pet frog Fetty Hop because similar ah. to uh, 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 Mr. Wap, uh, the the frog in the Halloween D and D session only had one eye. Oh, and nobody laughed at my great joke. Fetty Wap really only sad. has one eye. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Now, I, uh, now you know. I am I am incorrect. I do know one thing with Fetty Wap in it, and it's Will Dickey's hit song "Save That Money." Fetty Wap does the like hook slash refrain on it. I had not listened to that song. Mm. In high school, I liked Will Dickey, and then I re-listened to his album, and I went, oh, all the only parts of this album that I liked are like, there's only like five songs that are actually good on it, and the rest of it's really bad. I mean, you know, five songs is pretty good for most albums, i say. That's like above average. The album's like 20 songs, though. Okay, that's a little bit of yeah. an issue, then. It's like an hour and 40 minutes. It's very long. It's, it's you know, comedy music not for me i don't like comedy music and the album is like it's weird because the songs that aren't supposed to be funny and are like him serious and being like yo i'm actually good at rapping i'm like oh hey this isn't bad and he goes on to talk about the you know the fucking 15 minute song about him having a conversation with his brain after uh, having sex with some girl that song is just awful as one of the worst pieces of music i've ever heard can't say i've listened to it also uh i think we've maybe talked more about music than ever before for one of these openings so mm -hmm. uh yeah let's 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 get to the train yeah uh cranberry are you streaming after oh this? thank you for asking um so this comes out on saturday yes uh so i will probably be streaming on saturday and also on sunday i've been playing uh, a rom hack of a of a pokemon fire red recently and i've been having a lot of fun with that okay. but if you're more interested in monster train on sunday i will be playing monster train nice so uh yeah that's that's what's going on with me all right i think you also mentioned that you're going to start uploading your stream videos or stream mods to youtube yeah so people... specifically of the of the of the pokemon streams mm -hmm. if like you catch the pokemon stream but you're like this is cool but i wish i could see it from the beginning and you don't want to have to you know like search through the vods you want an easier uh way of searching for it mm -hmm. i'll be uploading them to youtube as well and there you go you can finally subscribe to cranberry uh we no, are can't. we're playing soul guard today right yeah we were supposed to play uh hellhorn or exile hellhorn to yeah. show the true power of shartail queen but i think voyax has actually turned to the dark side <laughs> Yeah, I just had a, you know, today's episode, these are recorded chronologically, and today's episode, of, I've played a lot of Exile Hellhorn in the last two days, and I don't want to play any more of it. So we're going to play the Exile Stygian Exile Hellhorn today. I'm sure that's what we'll random into. You ready? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm excited. All right, we'll, let's, let's get it. it. I, I, like I advocated for in the tier list, I think Soulguard is maybe the strongest champion. 
Uh, normal hell. So, close. Pretty close. I don't like the start, though, if I'm being honest. I don't think this is so. A, this is... I did play a run of Titan Channel recently. Uh, after uh, the tier list energy, video. energy Siphon, Energy Siphon, not a good uh, card with uh, Titan yeah. Channel. None of these, like, Fledgling Imp, Cuddle Hex, and Torch are all bad cards with Titan Channel. So we've got some issues here. I... Um, Fledgling Imp's maybe strongest feature is that we can torch it on the same floor as Titan Channel uh, yeah. Soul Guard. That's true. And, so... Uh... Yeah, this is going to be a little rough to start. I would be, I'd be happy to play one of the other Soul Guard paths here, personally. But we'll see what uh, we see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We have Plating Seal, Daedalus, Failure Arc is Diligent, Seraph, and then these cards we've talked about. Let's see it, shall we? Crack mm -hmm. this open first. I like Rules of Containment as an opener, and I hate Scorch Steel a lot. Yeah, I like Rules of Containment here. It's very strong early. All the all of the rage boys die instantly. Mm -hmm. Crossbowmen die instantly unless we like take a trial or whatever. But like, uh, it just it just it enables it, us to take almost any trial for free. It just works. Mm -hmm. And also, I hate scorch steel. I think it's usually a downside. Uh, I am interested in playing cold channel here. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Generally, I would say. If we had like some more armor cards to start with, I'd be more excited for Cold Channel here, because Cold Channel one is a little scary. Yeah, uh, fifteen not HP, bad. it's not that bad, but like Cold Channel, like fifteen HP against uh, who do we have? Daedalus or do we have uh, Talos? Daedalus, that's fighting seal. Especially against Daedalus, that is tricky because base fifteen HP means you die in two hits. By the time we get to um, Daedalus, Talos, you get. We'll have a yeah. Siren. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find another unit or something. Yeah, but like if we don't, we probably just lose. <laughs> I mean, we um, probably just so, lose in general if we don't find a meaningful unit by Daedalus. Is yeah, the thing. yeah, yeah. I'm um, I'm down to I'm down for Cold Channel. I would yeah. say Hellhorn in general, second best uh, clan for it. The first being uh, Awoken, okay. but we can do some stuff here. I would say Hellhorn might be the best. I've had some good runs as long as you're not against Seraph the Chase this with is like so just stacking free. regen. I'm just oh I'm yeah not, yeah. oh yeah easiest yeah, pick go of for my it, go life. For it. And I would say I would say getting a unit pick here is more important than money. So this is like yeah, fantastic. this is optimal. I'm just gonna throw Soul Guard up here. Yeah, I yeah. guess actually we should, we may as well play him here because then we can fit an then, on the floor. Oh, 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 I was gonna say play. I mean, we have we can almost 100 kill yeah. the thing if it spawns top. But I was gonna say maybe the steward goes top floor, but it doesn't matter. Uh, just... I was I was angling towards the. Uh, Killing transferred with torches plan. Also, yeah, it dies passively to the rules of containment. Oh yeah, yeah, rules of containment. I wasn't thinking about that, but we would have drawn something as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like I'd maybe physically impossible to not draw a kill for it. Yeah, might actually let this guy live because he's got all this rage now. I think so. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Sure. I mean, I, I think no matter what here, we're okay. Yeah, we are super. Like this is this is an extreme high roll. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably good start. Like yeah. th this is optimal. The biggest fear is Soulguard has trouble against uh, the first combat. Something that I've been realizing lately is that having trouble against the first combat doesn't matter because outside of like the worst possible outcomes, you won't die to this. I've only yeah, had one situation often... where you can die to this, and it's like I had a little fade. I took plus four, and it was damage shield enemies, and I just got rolled. Mm -hmm. I've had that happen too, actually. I like for but, the most um, part, you're fine here. But you can end up ruining yourself for uh, the second fight, though, by taking like 30 damage here. It can sometimes. happen. Usually it doesn't happen, though. You just have to skip a trial in the worst cases. So I think the weaker starts aren't as bad as I initially mm -hmm. thought. Uh, as I... far as these cards, we've got two good choices. Yeah. And one trash choice. I actually think um, that all three of these are strong. Uh, I haven't played too much with the buffed Ice Tornado, but I still don't like it that much. With Energy Siphon. Uh, especially, especially, but with Foregone Power is the issue. Yeah, that's true. It is Between worse. the two, I think we maybe want to take Flash Freeze because of the Foregone Powers. We're going to be pitching a lot of cards anyway, but Offering Token here is great as well. They're both they're both solid choices. Yeah, I'd, I'd lean towards Offering Token a little bit, but I don't think it matters. I think they're both strong. Actually, you know what? I'd go Flash Freeze, I guess, because it's good to be stacking more Frostbite on Daedalus. That's going to be our win condition. Mm -hmm. I'd yeah. go fra Flash Freeze. Yeah, it's, it's close either way. And then yeah. Ice Tornado. Permafrost is cool, but with Foregone Powers, it becomes a bit of an issue. 
Um, ritual, ritual battle. It's a spell. It is. I wish we could see our unit first, but like it's not the yeah. worst. But like I, I think we're safe to skip here. Like I don't think it's necessary. I think it is pretty good though. It's. I guess worst case we can just throw it on train stewards. But realistically, like, we're put, just put them gonna, in the back. We'll probably put it on because uh, we're getting a Stygian banner here as well. Ooh, Stygian that's a good point. Here. Yeah, you know, seeing the Stygian banner there, it's probably better to take. I wish we had a. Uh, a spell shop on on ring three yeah. to uh, lower the cost of it a bit, but unfortunate. It is unfortunate. I I could go either way because we don't have a spell shop lined up with it. It's a little more awkward, but because we're gonna want to go to the steel shop with the removals, and then there isn't one here, so we're not gonna get to upgrade it until right before Arcus, and at that point we're probably already winning. I think it's worth. The yeah, skip. I, I would say to skip to just because of no convenient spell shops mm -hmm. anytime soon. I agree. Iron of the Sea is ideal. Oh, uh, I would, technically, te technically, I would say that Rage Siren's a little bit better, but like S Siren of the Sea, extremely usable here, so I'm down to take it. I, like with, you know, don't don't look a gift horse, right? With Cold Channel, I think it's better to have Siren of the Sea since he can she'll live longer for the Frostbite to tick. Oh, also fair. Can armor two would be nice. Large stones, okay. I don't really like I don't, it. I don't like, yeah, I don't like it that much. Either. Let's see what else we got here. Beautiful. Yeah, that's really good. That's uh, very good. Yeah. Um, this run's shaping up to be a pretty good Stygian run. I don't really like large stone on Hot Shark. This is this is the this is the one where it's not bad to put large stone on, right? It's like the uh, it's it's Temperant has the waves where uh, yeah, large that stone one. is a, is a detriment. Yeah, I remember you told me that a while ago, and I've remembered it's... it since. It's really but it's not, it's not worth that important. money. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather just put plus twenty five on him here and then like save leave. The money. Yeah, because yeah. we're not gonna line up with any more money on the way. So when we get to the steel shop, we want to be rolling for multi strike. So it's best oh, to save the money. Is my philosophy. Mm -hmm. Just give the plus twenty five because it's cheap. I, I I feel pretty safe here though. If I'm being honest, I feel yeah. like we can cruise all the way to Arcus with this deck right now. Pretty pretty and sure I agree. Yeah. yeah. We'd have to we'd have to find literally nothing from here to Arcus to lose this run, I'd say. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a few things that can happen. I'm down to take the trial, although it is a little awkward because Worst worst case, worst case here, we like set up bottom floor. Like it's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's fair. I think we, I think we take the mark. We have the we have the rules of containment still. Like Realistically, I think what we do is we just let Soulguard die and we play Siren plus Shark on this combat. Oh well, that's that's interesting. Um like we didn't get Siren. That's fine. Uh, I I think you just go like Soul Guard, Chump, Fledgling, Chump, Cuddle Hex, and then play Titan Bottom Floor, maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Although, yeah, it doesn't Or, matter. I guess in theory you can Torch instead of Chump. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Actually, actually Torch is better because it's an instant. Yeah, it's not the end of the world either way. I think that this run is pretty... The, the way that we could lose this run is by not having enough cards to incant against Illidge and Seraph and falling off because of that. That That is uh, a potential issue. Um, the only and Energy Siphon is pretty... <laughs> Energy Siphon is pretty bad. Yeah. So I can definitely see that being a thing. Without a doubt. That's all we have to look out for is just having spells to throw away at the end of the run. Mm. So basically, we're gonna remove like two Forgone powers, and that's about it. So we'll keep all yeah, five. Yeah, that seems about right. Oh, hey, he yeah, just wins. Yeah. He's, he's a big boy. Yeah, four attack steel slate does not do well into our shark. This guy actually just solos this combat. What an insane. I didn't know this. If you give plus 25 I, to Hot Shark, he just kills this combat. That's crazy. I've had, I've had endless large stone uh, Hot Shark 1v1 Daedalus for me. Yeah, he's good. Like he's easy, he can do it. What what are you thinking here? Crypt Builder is good. Oh, we do have the four con powers. I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. It's... I was thinking maybe uh, Titan's Gratitude because no matter what, we can just play it on the incant floor. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a spell, but it does discard. And I like Crypt Builder is a good point of how it uh, it will it will be thrown away a lot. So what we can also do here, if you want to angle for just another, uh, uh, this is a, the choice to make if you just want to try and win this in a different way. We could go Flash Freeze and then try to pick up uh, Horfrost after G. I don't want to try to do that though, really. I feel like that's overkill. Yeah, but it's fun. 
maybe may, I wouldn't be shocked if that's like more relevant in like the last divinity, the last divinity where you're yeah. like you're trying to just like ro oh actually no the, the last divinity purge is frost though. That's true. Although that. uh, there are changes coming, I heard. So oh, you know that, that's not. that's fair. They might not, they hope honestly. I hope they don't have that ability. The, the purify thing, whatever yeah, it was that called. Yeah, shit was. Uh... It it made it made one of the DLC classes like like one of the one of the archetypes just null and void. Which it was, was really strange. It's a, it's a very interesting one because on the other hand, if you're just frostbiting on each floor, he dies really quickly too. So it's like, you gotta do something, I think, but I don't know. Maybe Frostbite is applied at a reduced rate, but who knows? Uh, we'll it, see it just, next it just, week. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll <laughs> yeah. get to see next week when we kill the last divinity in our first ever run. Well, it'll be, I mean, you'll be. it won't be either of our first runs, I'm pretty sure, because, yeah. you know, even though we only have one day, I'm sure we'll play a few runs before uh, we oh, do the co-op recording. Uh, I'm gonna um, click I'm, on I'm down for Crypt Builder, though. Yeah. Crypt, Builder, Crypt Builder makes sense to me. Welder Helper is strong and Vent is strong. We don't need Vent, though, because we have the Shark, so I'm down with Welder Helper here. I don't know if I want Welder Helper. Really? Oh, no, I want Welder Helper. I've changed my mind. I forgot about Soul Guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's take Welder Helper. Okay. That would be cool. We have all the torches. We can just torch it out of the way if we need to and stuff like that. Yeah, Welder Helper is very strong. Um... We're, we're at the point where I kind of just usually tunnel vision on picking up as many spells as possible, even if they, like, do nothing, as long as they cause zero or one. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why at first I was like, I don't know about Welder Helper, but, like, 20 armor is especially good here and will be relevant for the rest of the game, too, so yeah. I like it. I want the artifact because I think these are bad. What well, let's look at our thing? deck just to make sure there's a good... Let's make sure we're not missing a good Hellvent target. I'm pretty sure it's we're Wilder not. Welder Helper, if anything. I don't like that that much, so I'm down to I'm down to fish for uh, high value relics here. Yeah, maybe we hit double in camp. Uh, I saw the circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it too. Uh, it's not bad though. I absolutely love Light's Gift here. Yeah, that, that is probably better. It just makes Solgar never take damage until Relentless. But sometimes, a however, negative. he's. I mean, it would be a negative if we were relying on his damage to kill heavies. Mm-hmm. But with the with the siren, hopefully we'll ah uh, maybe siren can't get there. Hmm. I think the even if it's a problem though, we can just torch him instead. True, or we can set up second floor. That's true. If that, as if well. we, yeah, if it's that big of an issue. I think like um, so. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down for it too. Okay. I just don't really like Kinstone Totem all that much. Uh, I like it, but I don't like trying to build around it. I like when I already have, you know, five times my offering token, mm -hmm. and then I see it. Yeah, and then it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. I would like to offer the potential Alpha Fiend take here. I would like to decline your offer for the Alpha Fiend take. Okay. I don't think we need it. It's not the worst. We already have two priority units uh yeah and it, it's kind of gonna seem to do a worse job than siren will do here and it takes up more space it's just it's just a little too much going on take this take 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 easy easiest take ever i've seen that event a few more times lately i got all three of them today Ooh, that's like like a one percent chance or something right it's like ten percent per uh pick or I something have, i actually have no idea all i know is oh boy i got 30 gold <laughs> I wish that event wasn't so bad. I don't. Uh, I mean, you know, it is. It is just free money, so I don't mind it too much. But I get what you're saying. I'm gonna play the crystalline seeds on to Daedalus. Daedalus here? Yeah, that makes sense. Give him and... the siphon too while you're in. No! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Our uh, our our uh, our crypt builder. Our, our flash freeze. Oh no! We just. Oh hey, this thing's dazed. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so... I think you're safe to Welder Helper and then Flash Freeze the Welder Helper here. I'd rather Flash Freeze Daedalus here. Oh, that's fair. It's just like... We can save Torches for that. That's true. It shouldn't happen in a way. I, I guess realistically we should have... Oh, we can't put Welder Helper in front. What am I talking about? Yeah, you fool. What are you thinking? It's like, oh, we'll torch the... We'll put the Welder Helper in front. Easy. That's not how that works. I'm just gonna ping this. Ping that. You could ping Welder Helper too, and then ping. play the fledgling imp. You could ping Soul Guard. Uh, play. Yeah, that's a lot better. You're right. 
care about that pawn. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. It saves us the damage, though. He's not attacking. Yeah, but it saves us Light the damage skip. to Pyre. He wasn't dying. Oh, okay. Same thing here. Uh, you want to see my favorite part about Foregone Power? I found pretty a pretty cool little thing in this game where if you have Foregone Power in your hand and you have two of them and you have a Crypt Builder, you always discard the other Foregone Power. 100% yeah. chance. I know it, you know it, we all know it. It is like, the only reason that I don't think Crypt Builder is good is because it feels like that happens so much. It's probably not even that likely, or like it probably doesn't even happen all that often, but it feels like that happens so often. Mm. So we're 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 leaking like one heavy here, and it yeah. dies instantly. So I'm not too worried. Yeah, it's like uh, we take. Well, it actually, gets two hits, huh? Yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Though. It's just it's four damage. As time goes on, that'll become a problem. But like we're not we're not incanting at a good rate here. That is certain. Yeah. I think we'll get there though. This I think you're weird. honestly. I, th I think you're. I think you're safe to torch yourself. I think you're. Right. Although maybe, oh, maybe, maybe play one foregone power first to get the uh, the count up more. I don't know. If, I don't, it might not be relevant, and that's probably just not worth the risk. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's not worth it. I'm pretty sure it isn't worth it. Plus nine, he'll die. Yeah, I think that's fine. Although, maybe we didn't need to do that. We probably didn't need to do that. I don't think it matters too much. We're going to take three more to Pyre. It'd be a good run for... Uh, what's the relic? The one that dazes them in the Pyre room as well. Oh, Vapor Funnel. Yeah, Vapor Funnel. AKA Train Bong. Forging the shark is not worth it here. I, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Okay. We could torch the imp above and then play Cuddle Hex and freeze one of these cards. Yeah, I guess we could. Or when and the maybe Forgone just... Power misses here. Yeah, yeah. Because we know it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. It is expected. We're like, we're fine. We have plenty of Frostbite stacked up. Oh, so yeah, this man, this man is unbelievably dead. Mm -hmm. Hey, there we go. Look at that. We got Extremely one. Extremely killed. We got the Crypt Builder to play finally when it didn't matter. Uh, this run has a problem with heavies and that's it. Uh, thankfully mm -hmm. we're Stygian so there's a lot of great answers to that, such as Ice Empire. Yeah, it's one of the best. Or Frost Effigy. Um, I... no. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Or, or Frost Effigy is not great here. We don't need it. Yeah, cause, because if we're, if we're trying to kill heavies, right, we're almost always setting up top floor. Mm -hmm. And the only frost they're getting before the top floor is usually the frost from sharks, so they go from like 15 to 30 maybe at like best. Which is a lot. Yeah, but like Ice Empire is 90 attuned damage, right? So it's just like, you know, probably closer to 140 if we put hold over on it and plus 10. Yeah, Ice uh, That's pretty sick. Better. It also incants yeah. every turn. Yeah. It is much better, yes. I agree. However, uh, if we, when we see Glacial Seal, I bet you're going to be sorry. You know me. Yeah. I had Glacial Seal actually be not bad for me recently on a run. Oh yeah? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. It and is. I think I'm pretty I'm pretty sure what I did was I put like a uh, double uh plus two armor. And then found uh the hammer that gives plus four armor per thing and it was a tank for me. Ah uh, yeah. That's not a... I don't know if that's a glacial seal strength. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't it wasn't I mean, it was cool because it was it was basically like a hot shark tank because it was, you know, gaining t uh, 12 armor per spell cast and then also clearing a backline. Right. I it guess. Was, it, was, it was cool. No, it was yes, cool. That's cool, I suppose. <laughs> it definitely, you know, Glacial Seal wasn't doing the heavy lifting, but it was there. And the Glacial Seal was there, costing two. I'm skipping this. Yeah, yeah. And maybe play Cold Kalia. Uh, this feels like draw energy run to me. Definitely draw first, and we'll and we'll play it by ear, like mm -hmm. seeing seeing what we have. We could maybe do like space and then duplicate a multi strike siren if we're having heavy problems. I'm going left. Uh, left here is probably better, so I'm down with that. Mm -hmm. Endless, not bad. And endless is good. 
Uh, runestone is worth considering, but we might want to just go for double multi strike. But nah, I think we always go for incant here. I think I'm down with it. I think one of them is worth. And then definitely more open to the uh, oh multi strike. There you go. Now I'm more open to the the space strategy maybe instead. Yeah. Space, and then we just we just hell vent this siren, and we just go for it. That can be good. We'll see how it looks. Yeah, get Stewart out of here. Mm -hmm. And then, ah, I like this. Do you like it, or are you contractually obligated to say you like offering monument? I mean, it's always good. It would be better if we took Kinstone Totem or Kinstone thing, but it's still fine. Um. Yeah, we could we could we could go for it. I don't think it's extremely necessary. It's we not can just necessary. Throw it we, yeah, we can we can throw it behind shark and then it's just like you know, we, it's there and drawing us cards sometimes. We just put it with gold channel and then we draw like we draw an incant like five times on turn one and we just infuse a bunch of incants turn one and two into our siren is the idea. This, this seems pretty free to me. Yeah, this trial doesn't seem bad at all. Yeah. We might end up, like, a heavy might leak through and we'll end up taking, like, eight extra damage to Pyre for this, but, like, that's worth it for an artifact here, I think. Especially considering we have some pretty big uh, potential upside artifacts to get. Yeah. So, when we lose space top four, I think we... Ah, that's interesting. You wanna, what, do you, what do you think here? I'm of two minds. We could set up mid-floor, right? Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to need to set up mid-floor to pump enough damage into these guys because of how much they're going to get armor from incanting. Right. Um, we want them to hit Soul Guard, so that way the Soul Guard uh, frosts them back. And then if we set up mid-floor, that frost damage will be applied twice. That's there true. and then up at the uh, top floor as well. I think, yeah. I think Soul Guard will be fine. I think, and I think right. we even, like, we double torch him here, too. And we just torch the Siren. Oh, yeah, that, that makes more sense. And I think it's worth considering the. Oh, well, you already tossed it. I nice. would say it's worth considering Foregun powering down here. I it's, think it's He better gets 10 armor, but he, he nets he nets like a little bit less health, but it's fine. I do think it's better to get the incants in. Uh, this isn't great. We drew a bunch of units. Well, we have Offering Monument we can play on the floor and then Foregun power to draw more cards. Yeah, I guess it's worth checking at least. It's a shame we don't get to play Welder Helper. Great draw, though. Very good. Perfect card. Well, you can you you can you can give a welder helper to the shark. <laughs> I'd rather wait. Shark's gonna be endless anyway. Fair. Just put it up here. Doesn't matter. We're gonna take some damage. We're gonna get yeah. something great from this. Unless stuff, sure. we get the one spell, Ice and Pyre. That's true. We could. Ah, you can also get Crypt Builder here. So I'm going to play Crystalline Seeds first. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay. There's Ice Empire. Uh, we'll play Ice Empire up here. Yep, and then just start blasting them Forgone Powers. Yeah. I guess it's worth it because we're gonna draw anyway. Yeah, then you then you tore. Ah! Stop giving us zero cost spells. Or actually, it's better to give us zero cost spells. Yeah, it's not the worst here. Like, we can. We can I think we're gonna always be in this position. I'm gonna actually just jump down here and put this out. Oh yeah, that makes more sense, huh? Yeah. And then I, I would even can... say I would say I would say torch down there too, and then you get the guaranteed crypt builder mid floor. That's true. I'll turn, but like realistically, no matter what, we can like whatever we draw, we're gonna be able to play, unless it's foregone power. The only way it's bad is if it's foregone power. Oh yeah, that that, that is true. I I think that's worth the risk. Then I'm seeing what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. We get one more incant out of it, yeah, and then we just dip. Yeah, down then you can here. play it down here instead. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. I figured it out. Yeah, yeah. And that's like marginally better. Did we draw one more card? We did draw one more card. It was just delayed. I didn't see what it was. That's my mistake. I wouldn't worry about it. I think we're, we're set here basically. Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit more damage potentially from this back man. I'm gonna try and just... A Torch Soul Guard here, I think. We can... Oh yeah, Torch Soul Guard does make sense. Yeah. 35, is that 23? Mm. I'm gonna Torch the Shark so it dies. Maybe, because like, we, what if we don't draw one in then? It's like if the bottom. Can, you can, three you can, cards... you can play it. You can play it top floor. It doesn't matter too much. But no, it's like what if? Because uh, we have a turn off. I think it's better to just wait because if the bottom of our deck is all torches, it's doomed anyway, right? Mm, no, wait. I think it is right to torch here because if we don't draw a torch next turn, it's bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying, but like, let's say for example we leave Shark with two HP, 
boss comes in, hits once, uh, and he dies. We mm -hmm. can then next turn just play him top floor. Oh, that is. Then this happens, and then we just play him top, and then the boss is gonna have like a hundred frostbite on him from the soul. Yeah, dive. that's true. We're not in. The, we're not in much of a. Risk yeah, anymore. we're not. We're not in danger here. <laughs> Almost no matter what happens, we're fine. Yeah, we'll just play. You're right. We're not scaling at an insane rate with Siren, but we're scaling at a good enough rate, I would say. And I, and I think once we like get rid of the steward, maybe start uh, cutting some of these imps as well, I think we can be there pretty easily. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you just torch Siren here, yeah? Yeah. And I guess Energy Siphon technically is right on the thing, but like, no. We're not, it's not gonna be relevant, I don't think. Yeah, we are taking two curses. Oh no, the knight just killed the imp. Great news. Okay. It's in, we, all we yeah. have to really deal with here is heavies. Once we kill heavies, we're fine. First health pact is... Uh, is it 25 gold or is it no, useful? No, it's fine. Because the, the spike is good. That, either spike is fine. Yeah, either spike is fine. Yeah. Hey, Glacial Seal. We should have taken a Frost Effigy. Yeah, what, what a terrible on, mistake. I'm going to click on Ice Storm here. Um, I think it's worth noting that uh, the first spell upgrade should probably go to Ice Empire. Um, yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's like the same effective damage. But I'm down to take it. I'm down to take Ice and Storm. We can take it, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, it is just a one cost spell that doesn't say mm -hmm. discard on it. Yeah. In the it's worst good. case, it's uh, still great. Mm. Inferno now. <laughs> It isn't terrible. You know this is the speedrun strat? Really? Yeah, the speedrun strat is Energy Siphon Inferno. You reroll Stygia and Hellhorn until you get this, and then you just kill everything with that. That's what I've been told, anyway. Does that, like, does that really work against Seraph that well? It's not. I think it's I a low it... covenant speedrun strat. Oh, that's that's fair, yes. <laughs> Seraph only got, like, what, 1,000 HP or something? Uh, I think it's 2,000. But yeah, I think I think it is pretty low. I, I thought it was I thought Covenant Zero was like one thousand and then Covenant One is like the first upgrade to Seraph and it gives you like double health. I'm not actually sure. I could be I, I now I now I'm not sure either. I, I believe you. I know that Covenant mm -hmm. twenty five is a thousand more HP on Seraph mm -hmm. for sure, and then twelve and twenty one increase boss HP as well. Uh the only card that I think is worth considering here is Impish Scholar. Do we even have any consumed cards yet? We have, oh, one, we have the crystalline but it's seats. Like, if we're really afraid of diligent sir, which I don't think we are, and I think it's best just to skip here. I, I agree. I, I'm not, I ain't scared. Yeah, could also maybe take Tyrus and Climb, but eh. Magic shop. Yeah. Again, we still don't have much we want a hell vent. Yeah. Plus ten damage here is great. Honestly, like a plus twenty damage is not bad either. Like plus on, tens, yeah, on plus tens, storm. plus twenties, holdovers, plus ten holdover on Ice Empire feels like the winning play to me. I agree. Okay. And then I want to throw like a minus one maybe at something here. Maybe on Ice Storm? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's fine. We just want to make our one cost spells cost zero. It doesn't really matter which mm -hmm. ones. I'm down to roll here because minus ones are important. Uh, before we roll, let's. Or do you want to check out the the caverns first? I, I always, sure. I always like. It, it always feels like it's either definitely worth it or not worth it to do it before or after the reroll. Sometimes I don't know. It's always, it's always. I weird. don't really think it's worth thinking about. A lot of times you get something that doesn't matter. Uh, like I this. <laughs> I don't hate trap shoot. Zero cost spell, mm -hmm. right? Consumes. Um, Holy claw would be really good if it was one cost. I think. Obviously, yeah. we can make it one cost, but like, but we can make other things zero cost and it's, instead. I'm I'm down for the trap shoot for the fact that it costs zero. I'm Actually, just worried that we might end up putting too many heavies on the same floor if we do it that way. I'm interested in taking pulley claw here. Really? Yeah. I mean, we just throw it a minus one and then it kills a heavy for us. You know, you were saying we're having trouble with heavy, so I'm down with that. Actually, it's like that it's a, this is the sort of decision that just doesn't matter. Is the thing. Mm -hmm. Like, we can do this or not do this, and it probably makes no impact on the run. But maybe it'll be cool. I, honestly, I feel like it's... it's uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I like it. Like I was saying before, Trap Shoot's a little scary because you might end up, like, having to... Well, not having to play it, but, like, it might not be optimal to play it because we'll put too many heavies on the same floor with it. Yeah. Um, because all of the backlines will be dying to uh, the shark. 
Right. So they might end up with only heavies, and then it'll be an issue. Um, so I'm down for the hook. And then also, worst case, we can use it to kill like a purifier if for some yeah. reason it's not dying to shark. They actually don't die. Actually, they do die to shark because of rules of containment. Usually they don't because they only take 9 frostbite and they have 10 health. Mm. I'll grab Holy Claw here. Maybe it'll be fun. I haven't taken this in like 300 hours, I don't think. Yeah. And we'll just grab it a minus one. Permafrost. I remember one of ten, my... Ten, 10 damage is also awesome here, by the way. Yeah, 10 is great. Yeah. One of my one of my really early runs I had in this game, I think I might not have even been on Covenant 25, but I had uh, uh, the one that gives you one extra spell upgrade, and I had remove consume holdover minus one on the trap shoot, and I just stacked like 30 days on Seraph. That's really cool. I do not want to take this trial. Yeah, it seems not worth it. Although it's like it's potentially okay because we can just like torch the spell shield away. Are we going to get that many torches, though? How many enemies are going to be a problem is the question. Um, hmm. Oh, Sweet so boys many. might get, like, a, a cheap shot on some imps, but, like, not, that's not a huge deal. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, we have the tor the, tor the ice storm, too, which, which peels off shield. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can take it. I think it's okay. Okay. And the know. money's nice because we're going to go to another magic shop here, most likely. Okay. We I'm can interested. do it. What, what's, what's the worst, right? Yeah, this isn't we, a we particularly die? scary combat. Oh yeah, also the, the marksmen just die, huh? Yeah, they do just die. Uh, I think we want to put shark mid-floor here. Um, oh, to kill the collectors? Well, yeah, and we don't want him- we, he doesn't need to take this 9 damage. Uh, also fair, I guess, yeah. He has the sense. endless, but like we don't want to have to replay him if we don't have to. Now what Are I'm you not gonna guard here for a card draw not. and then draw the siren yeah. and then just be very upset. I lost a run, or I almost no, I did basically lose a run because of that. Recently, I play the train steward somewhere. Yeah, just throw him away. I also, I've played so much melting lately that I'm like, oh, is it right to play train steward? I don't know. What if I? What if he's in the reform pool? My <laughs> my gut instinct goes to that, and I go, ugh. Panic, panic. Yeah, oh Make God. sure you don't forget to torch that. That uh. Oh, actually, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't even get away. Yeah, he he he's dazed and then he dies to frost no matter what, huh? Mm -hmm. It's still worth that it, is. I think, because we get the spell cast. Yeah. And are you gonna storm mid floor to uh peel off the shield now? Yeah, may as well. And throw foreground power at him too. Why not? I just wait. Wilder Helper's not really getting to do much because of the totem being in the way. It feels like, but we'll draw back into him. Yeah. But this is the only wave that's really scary, and check this out. We just remove. Oh, Aw, poor, poor guy. Uh, we do you, take... you could, you could. Yeah, if you frost him first, though, I think he'll just die. Yeah. You hit him with flash freeze? We can we can send him up first. Because then we can just come up here and hit him with a foregone power at the end of the turn. Oh, that's true as well. A little mechanic that I often forget, but we can do here. We can just pop up here and hit him with a little foregone power. It's not something that you really have to use all that often, but it does end up coming in handy when you remember you can do it. Yeah. I've, I, I did lose a few runs too, just to forgetting to, forgetting that you're able to do that. We do get hit here, unless. Not unless. for a lot, but a little okay. bit. Yeah. You should still definitely play the Ice Empire. Yeah, there is no reason not to. We'll just start working down these guys, draw some units as well. I'm down to get rid of the Cuddle Hex as well in this run. Uh, yeah. I would, imps first, but Cuddle Hex can also go, I think. Yeah, we have a lot of good uses for our removals here. The Imps can go, the Cuddle Hex can go. Oh, look at that. Ooh. It hit. It, you know, yeah. it is pretty good at hitting when it doesn't matter, I will give it that. Very strong. <laughs> I'm gonna just play. Well, one you want to just peel? You want to just peel off the shield bottom maybe here first? Yeah, oh, we can throw, we'll throw some frostbite at him. It'll go away. Don't. It's not really uh, too much thinking required here. I don't think. Yeah, the fight. The fight's over. Yeah. This is. It's another one of these. Like we can sit down and min max this as much as we want, but at the end of the day, like. We are going to win this run, unless something, like, 
something has to go very wrong for this run to not be winning. We have to like take a bad trial on floor seven and die to it, I think. Or maybe just fall behind on Arcus. Um, I don't hate Unnamed Tome. It's a zero cost mm -hmm. spell. Um, I agree. The end. Uh, what about Glacial Seal? I think we should not take Glacial Seal here. Hmm. Interesting opinion. Inferno. I, I think. I, I don't think we take Inferno. Still. I, I also <laughs> don't think so. Impressive yeah. also doesn't really work here. One oh, energy. I just realized also, we mentioned before Impish Scholar, we are against Seraph the Diligent, so it does bring cards, like any card back that we dissolve. Yeah. So I I, I don't know. I, mean, I think you even mentioned it before, but for some reason I didn't register that as being a thing. Yeah. Um, And we even have more consumed cards now, so if you really wanted it, I, I, we could take it, but I still don't think it's that important of a card. No, it isn't. It is not. We have, If we keep all of our starters in, we don't need to worry about it. I think okay. it's fine not to take him. However... When we miss the transcendent imp in a box impish scholar maneuvers here, it's gonna be a shame. I'm gonna go magic yeah. shop here. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we don't. We, just we don't it. need unit upgrades. So like... again, I saw the circle. Ah! <laughs> Stop doing this to uh, me. Temper talisman is actually a little spooky because like we are gonna be torching soul guard a lot probably. Yeah, I and... love sigil seaweed here. I don't Massive love Sigil Sigil Seaweed. Seaweed fan. I love this relic. I, I guess it's really like good. I guess it's cool. I guess it's cool when it uh silences the purifiers on this run, but other than that in the Seraph content uh Seraph Seraph combat, what does it what does it do? Uh the big one that uh often I overlook is it silences those guys that harvest for fifteen armor sometimes. Ah, yeah, they're they're punk ass bitches. They're scary. They spawn with the big I four. Yeah, I don't know, but we, I, we like we have we have uh, the ice empire. Yeah, that should, that should chunk off enough to kill him. That is fair. So I'm not too I, I still just clicked it because taking a temper talisman is actively detrimental to the run. Not necessarily. A double torch does then kill like, a crucifier. Not that that matters. Yeah, um, hopefully that doesn't. It matter. is. It is a thing. <laughs> it is. That is something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna minus one some cards here. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, How do you feel about Surf Stone on the Crypt Builder? On the Crypt Builder? Eh, I don't it's love it. That's a that's that's a big number. It's a big number, but I think it's okay without it. I'd rather um, just put it on Torch. I mean, I mean, then there's the same issue as like you know the Temper Talisman, right? It's like I mean, obviously twenty two is a bit of a different situation because then we can actually like you know. Yeah. And now only one kills a purifier, and like, you know, 22 I mean, also, is actually a reasonable amount of damage. 22 like with that. two energy siphons is like 60 damage, which might catch a heavy. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine. Yeah, I mean, sure, yeah. I, yeah, I think I think it is good, even. We're not we don't have to use every torch. This isn't every torch getting mm -hmm. plus 20 and consumed. Then maybe we take a moment of thought. Uh, I'm gonna take two removals here as well. Just toss out train stewards. Do we want to re-roll, or, or are our spells basically already as good as they're going to get? Uh, I think we can do one removal and a re-roll. I forgot that we didn't re-roll, actually. Can we look at the spells again real quick? Like, I, It might not be worth it to re-roll here. I mean, like, just like we look at our spells, I mean. Yeah, yeah, these are our spells. Yeah. Just a um, minus one is fine here. Going like minus one on Torch is fine. It's not great, but it is fine. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Because also you have to wonder what else are we going to spend our money on if not this, right? Oh, uh, double stack on a foregone power? Yeah, you, you know, that is something. Uh, I'm going to take the other consume on a torch here, I think. Okay. Could remove consume from Pulley Claw. I don't like that very much. Uh, are you sure? I'm fairly certain. But have you? did you think about it? No. Okay. Me neither. Um... See, yeah, remember when we said before that I felt like our deck could handle Arcus like at floor at ring two? Yeah. We've gotten a lot better since ring two, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We're okay here. I am also pretty confident. This is a little I mean, worse. Looming, looming shard is always spooky. Mhm. Mm Don't get me wrong. Uh, we're gonna um, play middle four here. Okay. I that think seems, that seems bad. correct to me. Yeah, you can like play out some spells here too, and like maybe actually draw an important unit. Which Arcus is this? It's failure? 
There's nothing worth silencing in this combat. There's no in-can enemies. Actually, there might be... There might be something worth silencing, but... Eh. Doesn't really matter. Ah. I mean, he may as well be playing... Yeah, play on, play on top. We can even freeze the torch for next turn. Yeah. Seems play, play on the heavy, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing a steel shop. Oh, there is something to silence, actually. It's Clip Reflector. Sorry, I just forgot about Clip Reflector's existence. I'm not too worried, though. It also got silenced by Sigil Seaweed. Fantastic. Thank you, Sigil Seaweed. Very cool. This is less cool. That gets you the kill, though, I think. Oh, it's close. Not quite there. Uh, yeah, we're one off. <laughs> he'll die next turn. Maybe uh, not. He's got he, Frostbite. He... Oh, yeah, he gets the Frostbite. Uh, Don't worry, he's dead. And he's dazed. Ugh. That sucks. You know what you? I think you should do here? What? I think you should play out all of your spells on not the middle floor, and then just like... Or maybe maybe play the three zero cost spells on not the middle floor, and then... If you have Crypt Builder still, after both the foregone powers are played, just play that on the, uh, the man in the middle. Okay. Also, uh, this guy is not concerning because we are guaranteed to get Ice Empire next turn. Ooh, that's that's a good point. Oh. Wow. Yeah, just just kill him, dude. Although there is a one in Although. six. If we pull if we pull Ice Empire from the offering monument, it's oh, really we'll get the, off. the cost for, uh, increased. No, we just won't be able to play it. Oh, that's even that's even worse. <laughs> so I'm just gonna crit builder down here. That this makes sense. I like. It's this. like yeah, you're it, right. it's it's just worth it not to be mad, you know. Mm -hmm. It's unlikely. I also for but who cares? I also forgot we had the the lights, whatever. Uh, lights gift. So the oh, lights yeah, gift. So the the heavy wouldn't have never would have never killed a uh, cuddle. Yeah, boy, was, he was hanging in there. Yeah, I think you can fire him. I think yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just I'm just looking at it. I'm trying to see if we can get Ice Empire through to Arcus somehow. We can't. Oh, uh, it, it's it's also just not worth the effort. I think. Yeah, we can't do it. But like, I mean, it is a, a third of his health. Not a third, uh, like a sixth of his health. It's like 300 damage. It's a lot. Yeah. But it does not happen. I should have flash freezed him though. I guess. No, I think you're. I think you're better off just getting the incans down here. Honestly. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, nice. oh, big, big money. Oh yeah, he's dead. Okay. Reason card, great work, buddy. Cuddle Hex, he's having a bit of a rough one, I gotta tell ya. Uh, I think he knew what he signed up for. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna just pull claw this out of the way. The poly either, either way, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, the pull claw's not doing all that bad here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pulling its weight. Pulling its weight? Okay, I'll leave. <laughs> yes, I get it, I get it, it's no big deal. Uh, you said it, not me. No, you said it. Uh, what? You said it. I wonder if this plan falls apart when we see uh, next floor's 190 health heavies. No, because I think next floor, what we do is, even on size floor, or, or, on size four, on the top, I think we still just play top and we play the uh, offering monument behind the shark, or maybe just not at all. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I think that still works for us pretty well. You can't. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to... I don't really mind if this Crypt Builder and Foregone Power go up in cost. I'd rather yeah, not. Yeah, not, not the end of the world. The damage to me doesn't really matter also. Oh, look at that frozen. frozen. Yeah, that, that frozen bad. Crypt Builder. This is actually like a lot of damage. Yeah, that's 250. That's pretty good. Not, not, not too shabby. This is a respectable amount of damage. I'll be honest, I think, I think, yeah, I think we need to incant here a little more. Yeah, I feel lucky. Hey. Okay, okay. We're fine, because we have plenty of frostbite stacked up. Even yeah. just even just a few hits here would be plenty, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. Just checking our spacing. 
I'm not. The shark down. And just like torch foregone. Thanks, we didn't get the extra four guns. So. Mm -hmm. I think he's gonna have yeah, he's gonna have a hundred frostbite. It's gonna it's gonna look close, but it's really not that bad. Yeah. Get the and energy then, and then, and yeah. Getting also, the little bits he, of chip damage in did matter, but yeah. And this might look a little close right now, but in all honesty, like Soul Guard one to Soul Guard two is a huge power or Soul Guard two to Soul Guard three is a huge power spike. So I feel like I'm feeling pretty confident going into uh, Seraph here. Yeah, too bad we missed the transcendent pivot. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. Um, I don't honestly. Think we, I think we Owl take is pretty good here. Yeah, yeah. Aegis Energy miss. is like the is like the oh we should take that but we already have Ice Empire so we don't need a heavy killer. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Alloy is gonna be like worth a thousand damage on Seraph probably. Yeah, it's worth a lot for sure. Mm -hmm. And it consumes it's a one cost spell. Uh, what do you want here? I think we're fine to take space. Uh, can take space, sure. Yeah. Um, uh, just what are we gonna? Eat? It we depends don't really... on if if it depends on if we want to go. Do we want to go? Like, if we get, it gives us options, right? If we go, if we go space, it lets us take the double siren top floor, mm -hmm. right? And then if we get the size downgrade top floor, we can pivot into uh offering monument on that floor instead which is i think worse but like still playable i don't think that double siren is that good i mean you saw we're not incanting crazy much she's ending at like 35s and things like that mm -hmm. right That's but fair. with space we can always play top floor and if we don't lose space top floor we can move the shark up there in relentless oh that's a really good point i like that okay yeah i'm down with that and in our worst here's, cases, here's, here's, we're still I, fine. I have, I, have a, I have a question. In the Relentless, is it better to put Shark in front or Soul Guard? Probably, probably Soul Guard in front, right? I don't think it would. Oh, it probably does matter. Uh... Soul Guard puts on the Frost faster, so I think the sooner you get that Frost yeah, on, the right. better it is. So I think Shark goes behind Soul Guard. Yeah, I think you're right. Soul Guard is in front. Uh, I want to go to the left because we will. I, we could try it, I guess. We could, we'll could. we be able to buy one trinket from the trinket shop without a reroll. Not worth that much, but the left is not worth that much. But removals are pretty cool here. Removals, we still, I think, yeah. do, we, do we still have two stewards in here? We have one steward. And we have one steward. I'm down to remove here. I think that's worth a little bit more. Yeah, but what like if we obviously, high roll? obviously, yeah, if we high roll, that's pretty sick. If yeah. we high roll, then we probably try to duplicate the. Uh, if, we, like, if we high roll for double in camp, then I think we duplicate the uh, siren and go mm -hmm. crazy. We could um, also get frostbite doesn't decay. Not not that important, honestly. I don't think here. It's worth a lot, I think. Um, it's also because it also comes with plus two on the frostbite applications. Yeah, also true. Um, I don't know. I am okay with either. I leave it to you. What do you want? Leave it to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go high roll. Let's go high roll. Let's high roll. Let's high roll it. Oh, the imp run. <laughs> the imp no. run. No. Um. Let's check the yeah, uh, I agree. thing from Kairos. We could get the event where we sacrifice HP for money. Mm -hmm. And then we can reroll. We did not get oh. that. Ember Stasis is probably good here, though, right? It's, yeah, it's not bad. It's awkward, though, because it's really hard to play these right now. Like, in the next combat, we have to burn all three of these, and that's a really hard to do. Um, What if we took uh, the middle one? Ah, Soul Guard Attack. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking more siren attack, but I guess Soul Guard can attack too. <laughs> You'd do ten damage. Uh, I think we don't take this personally. Yeah, it is, it is going to be. If we got this earlier, it would be pretty sick. But it's going to take yeah. us too long to get rid of the embers. You, just, you have to ask yourself: Are you good with passing three turns? I mean, not passing. We do one hundred and twenty damage to a front enemy, but like, it's really awkward. It doesn't incant. I don't like it. Okay, we can skip it here. What were the artifacts again? They're all three pretty bad, right? Yeah, I'm gonna grab cold. It was rage, three. rage stone, imp doubles, and totem uh, fragment is good. Oh, totem fragment is actually pretty sick, huh? Yeah, it just means that our ice empire always kills the enemies. Usually, the ice empire is gonna kill them anyway, but now without frostbite applies, I mean, it's fine. I think it's fine. It is a lot of money. Hmm. It's all of our money, but at the same it time... Is, 
All of it. What are we spending it on? Uh, the next trinket shop. Mm, we'll just get 400 gold from the floor 7, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can take it. Sure. I think, honestly, like this lets us take almost any challenge, too. The only one like, that we're uh, afraid of is uh, Invasion. Really? That's what you're afraid of here? Yeah, I think that's a lot of damage. I think Solgar can take it. Mm. Spell Shield. I was gonna fine. say, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I think Spell Shield we can take here. Yeah, I mean, we already proved that we can. This is also mm. not a very risky combat. Oh yeah, like the 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 most damaging wave is like is like uh, the two <laughs> Iron Boys and then like the Pyre Wings behind. Yeah. And we might not lose any Ember because of Sigiled Seaweed. If we just roll. Oh out. hell yeah! Oh look at that! Hell yeah! Look at him go! No, uh, it doesn't. So it doesn't matter where we play Shark anymore because the enemies have more health. Yeah. The backline doesn't die anymore. If we stay on top of uh, pinging off spell shields, we're just gonna be fine. Oh, this is a nice turn too. Yeah. I'm gonna throw. Energy Scythe and... Mm. It's 120 on the Polyclaw now, so we need a bit more Frostbite for enemies to just die from full health. Yeah, Mostly I think, we just, I, think, I think we just, like, almost entirely focus on incanting top four here. I'm gonna stack a little more Frostbite. You're probably right, it's probably better just to focus on incanting, but putting six Frostbite is decent as well. I think they're very close. Because we're also about to have a big uh, explosion of Incant's turn here. Yeah. I'd like to... I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, five thinking, freeze first, I'm pretty sure. I was thinking try to hold the uh, spell weakness, but it doesn't matter. Any spell we draw is going to kill him here. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, down to silence oh, this. Get him. Get him, Dan. Absolutely Dad. got him. <laughs> uh. The uh, the polyclaw also gets to be strong here. Uh, we do take damage, unfortunate. Um, not that? necessarily quite just yet. Yeah, we might be able to uh, so get through to him. If we play foregone power, it hits crit builder, and then we draw torch and torch him, and then have one energy left for ice and fire. So if we play, we can play welder helper and then play crypt builder, and sometimes we catch him. Uh, oh sure. I mean, it's worth a shot. If we discard ice and fire, it's not a whole lot of loss anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad. Oh, uh, we could have torched soul guard there. My bad. Ah, eh, no big deal. Yeah. With the frostbite that gets added to him, he's at 18. He'll still die in two turns, something like that. Pretty close. Yeah, so we take 20. If that's all the damage we take for this trial, it was uh, worth it. We're gonna take more though. No poly claw draw. Oh, so, I'm gonna focus on getting this guy's spell shield down. Yeah. And then. I don't know. Energy siphon doesn't really matter. Are we Start the encanting. Yeah, we are losing energy. Again, we could maybe just put Frostbite down, but this enemy does maybe 16 to us, so I'm not all that worried. Yeah, it seems right. You, we've seen him have the classic run of uh, taking a little bit of damage to each heavy that comes by, but effectively mm -hmm. doing so much like damage that we can take all the, the heavy hits still yeah. and just kill bosses pretty easily. Seems like it'll be fine. We might want to just prioritize... Wow. I don't know if that's good or not. We might want to prioritize uh, higher health in the next room. Because we are going to yeah. take a little more here. It's worth considering. Well, Crypt, Crypt Builder knocks back one of the guys, right? Oh, it yeah. also just kills him from spell weakness, so there's that. Yeah, so... Um, oh, you probably just Ice Empire and then see if we can pitch... Uh, yeah, Crypt Builder. Crypt Builder here. 
I don't know. I guess I shouldn't have played this Cuddle Hex back here. I wasn't thinking about who the boss was. I'm, I'm not worried about the boss. I'm a little worried. I'm, I'm not worried. Just siphon him. Alright. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, not unexpected, though. I don't know, he's getting kind of sick here. I you light, Light's Gift did a lot of damage to us here. You wanna pulley claw the boss? Nah. Nah? Alright. Let's, pe let's, let's peel that off there, yeah. Um, I think honestly? Just, yeah, I think we don't maybe just, maybe just Maybe just Crypt Builder him to yeah. get the last bit of spell shield. Well, but then again, if we don't play Ice Empire. Oh, like Ice, Ice Empire top, and then we try to we try to hit him with uh, yeah, yeah. the Forgone Power. Can't use this on your own units. <laughs> I love this game. I love it so much. It's like, it's just really funny. Comedy, tragedy, you know. You are, you've already, as you see, we've already won the combat. But, you know, do it to him. And then uh, Pulley Claw. I mean, you gotta go for the foreground power. No, you gotta go for the foreground power, 50-50. Ah, I mean, we all know how it ends. We took 52 for this 400 gold. Yeah. Probably fine. Uh, I don't hate any of these cards. We can take each of them. Yeah, this is one of the few times where Harness Titan might not be the worst, but again, it makes torches better, which is... I mean, we can play the torches before playing it. Yeah, I think It's not fine. the end of the world. I'm happy um, to maybe, take it. Maybe we just want... Oh, hold on. Where's the... What's the next... What's the layout looking like for the last floor? Uh, menu. Menu. <laughs> um, uh, we probably want to go magic shop. Higher yeah, health removal. Higher health. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, with that in mind, mm -hmm. um, I think I'm more inclined to go ice storm. Okay. Uh, worst case, we just like get a plus twenty consume on it, which is still pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, battering ram. It's finally time. It's time. It's. it's Honestly, not the worst considering we have the the two armor incant on the siren. We could like you know just go super incant and then play battering ram as a heavy killer. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. It's too late. It is too late. I agree. We, we, Although, we can. It's like what? Uh, it's like fifteen incants. This starts doing a meaningful amount of damage. This does like one thirty at that point. One twenty. Have yeah, it, it's 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 a little too late though. I think like yeah, it, I like because we're we're gonna see it in the first hand, dude. You know it. I know it. We both know it. Mm -hmm. It's we'll not see. gonna be worth it. Our opening hand will be that and Crypt Builder, and then a Foregone Power. We'll play the Foregone Power. It'll discard that, and then we'll both go mm -hmm. ah. I'm gonna go to the right here. Okay. I feel confident. I'm gonna I also remove feel pretty the, confident. Remove the Train Steward and one imp. Train steward, yeah, yeah, that that is correct. Uh, final high roll chance. Oh, railhammer is really strong. Yeah, railhammer is pretty sick here. If only we had put uh, <laughs> the armor upgrades <laughs> on a glacial seal. <laughs> or if only we had taken battering ram. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's definitely worth grabbing here, without a doubt. Let's just take a take a quick peek over here. Yeah, yeah. I know you gotta, but. <laughs> Because I would like to... Uh, we're going to buy this, for sure. Yeah. I do want to roll this, but then we won't be able to buy anything else here. Like, I, I want to see if we can get double incant, because then it's just ridiculous. But at the same time, double incant isn't I'm, even that I'm good. I'm down to roll just to see. All right. Okay. It was not here. Also... Firewall is 15 health. It's true. Fire. I think we are better off just taking like a removal and a plus 20 and consume on Ice Storm here. Okay. Throw the removal at Fudgling it, probably. Sounds good. And then just grab like a. One of these. And a one of these. And I think that's fine. Yeah, we may as well. We, we can, we can reroll and then get another, like, yeah, yeah, like, look at this, right? Like. Take another minus one, take a plus ten on Crypt Builder, even though we'll never get it to be played, and then we can go. Okay. I feel fairly confident here. Yeah, like we could get like a really bad sequencing here and then like lose still, but like it seems like it'd be really hard to lose from this point. Mm -hmm. oh, great silence, even though it doesn't matter. And we did lose space top four. I am not 
too sad about that, though. Yeah, it's, it's like, you know, we can't... Oh, no, we can't play our Welder Helper. I think it is fine to consume a Forgone Power here. I agree. We're, like, we're fine on spells. Classic. Could have, like, pulled something up, but I don't think we need to there yet. Yeah, I'd rather save it as a, as a spell for later when we, we want to not consume something else more important. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna play the Offering Monument, I'm gonna play this. I think it's Siphon. better to consume the Torch. Oh, really? Yeah, I like Energy Siphoning the boss. Can add up. Okay. I don't think it matters too much. Plus... And then you, you can Siphon and then fire mm -hmm. him, yeah. Or, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, we just missed two cards. Ally will, Ally will come back. It'll be yeah, fine. we'll see it again. Ooh. I kind of want to hold this. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, also, Shark dies at an awkward timing here. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it too much. With, with yeah. the... We'll just yeah, silence it's him. It's fine. Not, it, he's just going to get silenced. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's not silenced. A curse. This is, this is unbelievable. Right, you have well, to ice storm. You have to, you have to save him by ice storming down there. And by save him, I mean kill the crucifier and then... I mean, we're just gonna kill the shark by hitting the wilt wings here for sure. I like it though. <laughs> uh, yeah, we may as well because this does save consume. Toss out that. Oh yeah, and then he comes back. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh my god, that works that way because he does just get put right on top. Uh, I'm happy to just press end turn here. I would play one of the powers. Like, what's the worst that happens? You pitch the the tome I... and then oh no. I don't really want to waste the 10 health we have left on the Offering Monument. Oh, I forgot about the Monument, that's fair. It'll be worth more when we have the energy. Hey, look at that silence. Uh, probably just a torch. Fair, fair. Are you trying to torch our fire? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> looking. Just perusing. Seeing our options. Great hand. Uh, I like this one. Sick, sick. No, no flawless victory here. It looks like. Yeah, we're just gonna take damage. No incant, I think. Yeah. And then just press on turn. It's looking Ouch. good. It is looking good. I, I do think that we can still lose this, but it is less and less likely by the minute. I would. I find it very difficult. That we would lose this. I could see it happening. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this now. I'm like still holding on to it. Okay, you know, fair. I'm done thinking about it. And you know, now and I'm... I think it's cool to silence Sarah. Yeah. He's always yelling. Sometimes you just gotta tell him to shut up. One of the ways we could lose this is if I just consumed Ice Empire randomly. That would be uh, not advisable. I agree. I'm gonna put this energy siphon here. That does make sense. Storm. Could also just Ice Storm up here. Um, also makes sense because it does prevent Pyre damage. So, yeah. And an Incan, so I like that one. Makes sense. I, I think actually te technically the best play was to siphon the second Pyre Wings because the first one's dying to uh, Ice and Pyre. That's true. You're correct. I didn't think about it. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much, I suppose, because mm -hmm. also you can flash freeze it and then oh, fully yeah. plot. And we could have also uh, ice storm to try and kill the purifier. Like lots of lots of small decisions we could. It make doesn't here. matter. Yeah, I want to fully claw the steel wings, maybe. Why? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I th this one this there is a man who is about to hurt us. It looks like. Right. Yeah, I guess you're right. We can do like a uh, crystalline seeds flash freeze maneuver, and then just pulley claw the front guy, and then ice and pyre the second one. Oh, cool! It's not perfect. We're gonna take some damage, but it's reduced. Oh no, we take none. Wow. No, no damage. Perfect. And then you can like fork on like the middle floor here, maybe, or just yeah, or just actually probably just incant. It it just keep incanting. It doesn't matter. Every heavy has to go by at full health with no uh, frostbite for us to die here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at this. 
The consumed torch comes into play. <laughs> Look at that damage. That's actually gonna kill him. The spell yeah. weakness consumed torch clutch. Cool. This run, it didn't ever really like from from the start. We were very strong. I never really felt like we were at much danger of losing. Yeah, is what I would, would say a, if we weren't a, about to die. It would take a colossal misplay, basically, which is not yeah. impossible. It, it would it would take me like consuming ice and fire for us to lose this. I think that's the only way. Anyway, I'm gonna consume ice and fire now. He's done it. Even at the very end of the combat, Crypt Builder still disappoints. I wouldn't be too mad. Yeah, I'm not. We do have you know, uh, 500, 600 frostbite stacked up here. I think one of the actual best ways to like uh, do like the most damage possible ever is probably battering room. I'm now just realizing it, but like you need like you know armor cap mm -hmm. and then like maximum spell weakness. Which is there a spell weakness cap? Uh, yeah, I imagine it's like. 999 or maybe 99 it probably caps because they cap everything else mm. but spell weakness yeah. isn't something that you you'd have to do an infinite to do that is the thing oh i can see a not infinite way to do it how are you gonna cap on spell weakness without an infinite um two two floors with uh armor cap so you have like an armor cap front line and then uh oh, icy, not icy, or, icy not icy fight. fight. yeah is icy still fight which one icy still it is icy still fight yeah yeah, like, armor cap unit in front with icy silify, or just I armor cap on icy silify, right? And then <laughs> on the top floor, <laughs> another unit armor capped, and then you have battering ram. I think that I, I think you might kill Seraph with icy silify at one damage. I'm not certain. You have to go four thousand rounds actually, so it, it'd be close. But I think you wouldn't quite kill him. Yeah, maybe. That's quite the Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah, and then. How much damage would that be? That would be, uh... Well, we don't know what the, the spell weakness cap is, so it's either well, it's either 99 or 999, right? So Yeah, assuming it's 99, I'm just gonna... Quick quick math here. Because the, the, cap, uh, the cap on Battering Ram is 39.96 times 100. You would do... You'd do 3,999,000 damage, most likely. Cool. Add that to the list of things to do. It's a very hard run to get, though. How you get the spell weakness cap and armor cap? I guess oh, with an infinite. I don't know. Yeah, you do, yeah you probably it, actually. You get it with an infinite, yeah. You just get like. Uh... So, I'll, I'll outline this run for you, Cranberry. I think I know how you do it. Mm -hmm. You, you get, Votaberry, Intent on Death, the relic that gives five armor on extinguish, and you get. Oh, cool. Uh, the the energy siphon and mm -hmm. then you just intent on death vote very draw two cards play energy siphon intent on death energy siphon intent on death forever with battering ram in hand yeah yeah and then the yeah. rest of the cards for this are in hand yeah mm -hmm. you could do it nah uh yeah the the real problem is how do you get battering ram vote very and uh intent on death and also energy siphon. Yeah, that's, mm. that's three clans worth of cards. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to, and like, for a second there, it kind of worked because you could get, like, a rare draft pick for intent on death outside mm -hmm. of your clan. But, but how do you get Votaberry? And the relic, yeah. Mm. Uh, you could, okay, so you could maybe do it with the imp infinite, and then you pull, uh, you pull the consume. Add energy or add spell weakness card from the consume event, maybe. Oh, I think you've maybe solved it somehow. I've never done the imp infinite though, so I don't know how it works. But there's there's definitely a way to do it, but it's really hard. Yeah. All right. Not worth not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Not, on, add it to the list of things to do before Monster Train is over. I'm ending right the right now. right after the lore video. Yeah. So next oh, well, week. we gotta do gotta do the outro. Thanks for mm -hmm. watching and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll do it. I got this one. Don't yeah, worry, you got boys. it. Go ahead. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Mm -hmm. uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, please like it. Yep. Whether or not you enjoyed it, uh, you have to like the video yes. or or dislike it. If you disliked it, you can dislike it. Yeah, I think that still um, helps with engagement if you're angry. Hell yeah. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Mm-hmm. Um. And you should also go follow Cranberry because he's playing Pokemon. 
Yeah, uh, Radical Red's pretty cool. I'm, I've been really enjoying it, and uh, we'll continue to do so. Hell yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.